Hi guys, Freddy here. Welcome back to the desktop for another retro RPG. And while we're all locked in our houses with this global pandemic and quarantine, I thought I'd do some shorter midweek retro RPGs on some of the stuff which wouldn't be worth a full video. So this week I would like to present this. The Paranoia Accessory Pack for 2nd Edition Paranoia. Uh, this came out in 1987. And basically it's just a GM screen and some extra stuff they threw in. So we can be through this in a couple of minutes, but there's some fun stuff in here. So let's have a look at the back cover. Show them who's boss. I'm yourself with this Paranoia Accessory Pack, recommended by 4 out of 5 Games Masters who hose their players. The best thing since High Impact Aerobics, Arnold Fonda, Jazz Exercise Instructor. I tried everything. I played it in the lotus position. I meditated on the rules by candlelight. I even made my players eat tofu. But nothing improved my game until the Paranoia Accessory Pack. Bagwan Aputwala Airport Fundraiser. Live long and prosper, an alien mutant. Gave me the confidence to really hose my players. Johnny Wadlow, former £97 weakling. Like, uh, totally rad, like, you know, more awesome than a beach god. Muffy Laporte, Palmetto High, class of 89. I laughed, I cried, it changed my life, the designers. The fifth game master is undergoing electro fun therapy at the Automated Attitude Adjustment Center. Um, featuring a colorful, maybe even gaudy, three panel games master screen. Over 460 inches of trendy charts and tables from the Paranoia 2nd edition, no preservatives added. Over 75 nifty, even useful, car stock commies, including smoking boots perfect for displaying vaporized troubleshooters, low in tar and nicotine. Molded plastic stands to di handsomely display your car stock commies, 100% artificial, no natural ingredients, never had them, never will. Now, actually, the plastic bases seem to have mi gone missing. Um, I cannot feel them in here. Ah, so this is incomplete. Anyway, bureaucratic forms with real carbon paper. Three copies of three different triplicate forms. 90, uh, 27 sheets of paper, high in fibre, includes accusation of treason, termination voucher request form, R&D experimental equipment report form, equipment weapon vehicle request form, and 12 character record sheets, direct from PLC's branch office of extended paperwork accumulation, duplication, and distribution. Partialated, hydrogenated, for two to six players and games master. Why can't you couldn't play with more than that? I don't know. Anyway, the back cover comes off, and you could cut it up and use these lovely cardboard figures for your battles and things. Uh, R&D genius, PLC clerk, a warbot, a commie mutant, uh, X7 monitor, a scrub bot, a high programmer, troubleshooters, a briefing officer. Vulture Warriors in their armour. And we've got Smoking Boot Yellow, Smoking Boot Orange, Smoking Boot Orange, Smoking Boot Red, Smoking Red Boot. And that's the back cover. If you want to cut it up, that's up to you. And we fold out. I'll lift everything inside out. Because we will go through that afterwards. And we have a very useful Game Master screen with the damage table. Treason chart with different... Uh, Treasonous acts and the treason points associated with them, with loyalty acts and treason point reductions. Combat modifiers, the different types of weapons. Going through the ranks, so Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then ultraviolet and infrared on the opposite ends. Um, insanity table, optional. Hit location, optional. Vehicular accidents and falling from great heights table. Vehicle weapons chart different types of armor and the protection they give, vehicle combat modifier chart, and then the other side we've got the front cover, carrying capacities, attributes, the ranks, so the players, alpha complex battle him, skill summary, red clearance equipment list so they can see what they can choose, character generation summary, so pretty useful stuff on the player's side. Um, to me it looks slightly printed wrong, these seem very close to the top, but the black border seems to be right, so it was obviously planned. And on the inside, all the stuff you need to keep the game in flow. I know that the couple of times I've run Paranoia, the damage table being in front of me was extremely useful without having to flip through the rulebook, because you're using that every round in combat. Um, I will move that out of the way now, and we'll look through. So we have basically the same cardboard counters. 
um, on much flimsier paper um, as the ones on the inside of the back cover. Um, but we have some other ones here, so vehicles, walkers, different battle droids, more vulture warriors. And then we've got instructions on how to fold pieces of paper, how to stick them together or cut up the plastic bases. I must have lost those to make sure that this folded flat because they would have creased the cover quite terribly. We have also here a stack of Paranoia character sheets. Um, pretty simple. The different skills, the attributes, the character stuff, the secret stuff on the back, so you can list your secret society and mutant power, your equipment, and any notes. Pretty standard stuff. And then we're on to the forms. Now, Paranoia released a couple of packs of forms, and these are pretty amusing. Although, obviously, whether you wanted to hand out to your players uh, carbon copies for them to fill out and use as a joke once, um, that's completely up to you. They are basically disposable, though, but they look like official forms. So, name of accusing citizen, name of accused citizen, nature of accusation. So, destruction or defacement of computer property, hoarding of computer property services, communist activity, wrong, wrongful accusation of treason, putting fizzwiz in a high programmer's shower head, um, tampering with a food vat, treason by thought, treason by word, treason by deed, counterfeiting, unsupervised dueling. And there's some interesting ones in there. Please list in detail all the acts of treason. And then you've got sort of forms to fill out. Did you notice the accused or any of the witness were drinking the new bouncy bubble beverage? Have you tried it yourself? If so, what did you think of it? The kind of bureaucratic nonsense that the paranoia world exists on. Because somebody who is making the form, obviously their bonus or survival is based on creating the new bouncy bubble beverage. So... These forms, which are for another purpose, they'll get higher rated for successfully getting good ranking. And we've got an R&D experimental equipment testing form. So experiment title, project reference, identification number. Was the equipment damaged in any way? Did the equip experimental equipment perform as described? What problems did you have? And there is no space to describe. It's just a yes or no. Were the instructions included with the equipment adequate? Was the equipment damaged in any way? What do you think of the new taste of Bunsen Street Bubble Beverage? Are there any other commissary products that you think need improving? Have you any complaints with the way this equipment was designed? If you think there were flaws and problem, who do you think is responsible? The computer, the R&D supervisor, other R&D personnel, the testing agent, communists, other. Present yellow copy to debriefing office and yellow copy to Zin Sector, Department of Experimental Equipment, Evaluation, maintain yellow copy for your own records. So, completely contradicting instructions, which is so standard for paranoia. Um, please describe in detail the test of the equipment. Please list any and all circumstances in which the equipment was handled by any citizen other than the authorised testing agent. Um, and then we have equipment to weapon vehicle request form. Indicate appropriate item type. Describe in detail what you're requesting. Have you seen anyone drinking the new Bouncy Bubble beverage? Have you tried it? Why do you need this item? Hasn't the computer provided for all of your needs? If no, please list all the other ways you feel the computer has erred. In your own words, how will receiving this item benefit the whole of Alpha Complex? Be specific. Will you return this item undamaged? Will you return this item? And their bureaucratic nonsense... You know, this copy doesn't say what you have to do with the different uh, coloured copies. And kind of fun to throw out and get people to fill out. But it's very a one-note joke. And obviously they're destroyed as soon as a player writes on them. Especially with them being carbon copies. And that's all there is. As I said, this would be a short one. The forms are quite fun. It's a useful Games Master sheet. Um, useful character sheets. Um, I don't know about the usefulness of tokens. I suppose some people might use them in adventures. I don't tend to. I always think of role-playing games as a game of the mind. Um, but I know a lot of people prefer their battle mats. 
and it might be quite fun in paranoia with the chaos of combat but that's it as always many many thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you like what i'm doing but most of all you look after yourselves and i'll catch you later bye now